<laughs> Watch them. So they're actually uh, funneling into the... Into the chimney. See how they get closer together and swirl. Swift. There are different kinds of swifts, but the ones that you can see on the east coast here would be chimney swifts. Out on the west coast is another similar bird, but it's different. What is this behavior? They, they might still be feeding. They feed on the wing, eating bugs and whatever's around. And they're gathering. Um, and why they go in, I mean, it's, when it's almost dark, they'll, you'll see that they, they get organized and they make a tighter and tighter circle around the chimney. And eventually they'll, they'll start dropping in. Um, and it takes maybe 10 or 15 minutes for the last one to go down. I mean, they, they start dropping in, you know, slowly. And I guess the first ones go down to the bottom. I don't know. How deep is the chimney? Mm, I don't know. Probably deep. I mean, it must go all the way down to wherever the original heat source was. So it's a pretty good-sized chimney. And what's odd about these birds is that they don't always choose the same chimney. Um, the, the year that we had the, the greatest number of them was, oh, maybe eight or ten years ago. They were at Dobson School, which is on Umbria Street okay. in Maniunk, and there were thousands of them. This year we went over to Dobson and there wasn't one, so why, we don't know. And all, the other area, the other known chimney, school chimney, is Shawmont School okay. um, in Roxborough. And there weren't any there this year either. So this this is the one that they this is the chimney that they seem to be preferring this year. Um, and they roost uh, inside the chimney. Inside the chimney. And how do they do that? With their little toenails. <laughs> yeah, they hang on and they overlap like shingles because there's so many of them. I mean, there can be thousands of them. Code Audubon Society. Um, which meets at the meets at Plymouth Meeting Friends School one evening a month. Um, is sponsoring a field trip, a Chimney Swift field trip, which will be September 5th here. And um, so we're here trying to get the timing right. And this is pre-migration be behavior here? Yeah. yeah, and they'll probably stop at other chimneys. They'll get down to, into Mexico and um, South America. They, that's where they spend the winter. They have to have insects. That's all they eat. So they okay. can't stick around here. There's no food. Oh, is this one flock? Or what I think do you they call come it? in from different areas. Okay. Yeah. Um, we've seen them in other places. When we were at Gettysburg once around this time of year and heard them, it can, they make a chittering noise. There's so much other racket here now that you really can't hear them. But... Um, we were at Gettysburg one time doing something else and heard them and saw a chimney that they were heading for. So, I mean, they'll just find whatever, whatever chimney they can, they can locate. There are people who put up towers for chimney swift. There was an article in Audubon magazine about a couple who um, had several towers erected on their huge farm property and the chimney swift used them. So that's very cool. I wish somebody would do that around here.